But for the time being, we're joined by Senator Lee Rhiannon. She's the Greens Animal Welfare Spokeswoman and she joins us now from Canberra. Senator Rhiannon, good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. What was your response when you saw that report exclusively on Lateline last night? Oh, very, very distressing. Uh, this is extreme cruelty that these animals are experiencing. And I'm sure uh, parliamentarians will have their emails, um, many emails coming in. We need the minister to be open and honest here. And it's very disappointing that he is refusing to speak publicly about this. Uh, were you confident when this scandal erupted last year and the minister, amongst other uh, government agencies, told us that this sort of thing would never happen again? Were you confident in those assertions at the time? Uh, n not at all. The, the only solution here to end the cruelty is to ban the live export trade. Uh, we don't have confidence in the present system. Uh, just a week ago I was questioning the minister in the estimates about a trip that he took to the Middle East where he was trying to say that they were inspecting the abattoirs to make out that make sure that the regulatory system was being abided by. He said in the end that he only saw one sheep and one goat slaughtered. They're clearly not doing their job properly and this latest evidence from Indonesia underlines that. Of course, it could be very much the case that uh, these abattoirs in question are trying to get around what are obviously very strict guidelines in place, that uh, abattoirs will try to get around the, the loopholes and get around the guidelines. Uh, there is really no way of stopping that, is there? Well, the government has said that they were confident that they could stop this cruelty. And now we've seen terrible examples. And why we've seen it is because some courageous people in Indonesia took the footage. Animal rights groups like Animals Australia have then released it in Australia, underlining that the government isn't doing its job. Today, we need the minister to be open with the public. We need the department to release what it knows already. Uh, it shouldn't be hiding behind a two-line statement. It just underlines that they, they are not managing the system and this cruelty to the animals continues. You are calling again, as, you, as the Greens have done on several occasions now, for the complete banning of live exports. Have you considered though, the economic consequences of that, Senator? Of very much so, and the economic consequences for Australia would see an improvement in the economy, particularly in regional areas. We would have a jobs growth because abattoirs could reopen across particularly northern Australia and there could be a, a huge jobs growth. There was about 40,000 jobs lost since the 1980s when abattoirs in this area have been closed because of the live export trade. So the economic benefits here can come back to Australia. The jobs growth there, Senator, would hardly offset the, the, the massive export earnings we get from live cattle. Oh, you no, know, again, that's one of the pieces of misinformation that the industry puts out and the government allows to be peddled because we would have an export trade in processed meat. It's already huge in the Middle East and there's a potential that it can increase in Asia and in other parts of the world. That's where the government should be putting its efforts. Then we would have a win-win. We would end this terrible cruelty to the animals and create more jobs in Australia. Okay, Senator Lee Rhiannon from Canberra, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you.